What's going on, my friend? We're back uh, for another live stream for Madden 20. Today we're talking about Madden Ultimate Team. And uh, yeah, man, what's been going on? That's why I wore my red shirt today for Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, this is another uh, entry into our developer series. We're gonna have five total live streams. So far we've had two, and tonight's a big one because the MDD crowd is massively in the team. And uh, we're going to deliver them some info here in Madden 20. What are you uh, looking forward to most? The return of Jake Stein. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, Jake Stein's a legend. He's one of our developers here. We're going to bring him out in just a second. Uh, but I do want to just go ahead real quick here, take a look at the upcoming live stream schedule, look back at where we've been, and uh, that's what we'll have going on tonight. Agent K, in the building, you'll be manning this uh, desk here all night long. So yeah. we've got that going on. Quick recap here of what we've done so far on these community streams. First week was all about face of the franchise, QB1, and franchise mode. There's a deep dive blog, and then there's, of course, a gridiron notes where we break down your questions about that. So if you're tuning in about franchise mode, stay tuned, but also make sure you read up on that. Last week, we went over superstar X-Factor abilities. Those are all new things in gameplay. We're going to talk a little bit more about them tonight and how they affect Ultimate Team, but, of course, we'll be going through that as well. Tonight's Ultimate Team. Next week will be more about gameplay. It's another deep dive, part two. We're going to be covering playbooks, RPOs, everything you need to know about gameplay, part two. There's currently a gameplay blog out right now that has a lot of detail, but there will, of course, be another one. So we'll be taking your questions tonight. We're reading the chat. We've got that going on. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to get Jake out here shortly. Madden Ultimate Team is coming. Agent K, what do you got to say to the fans? You know what? Make sure to go ahead and tune in those gridiron notes because I think what's really cool is that uh, a lot of the questions that we're seeing from the community, we're answering those on the gridiron notes. Uh, we'll be doing the same thing for Madden Ultimate Team. We've actually, what was great was last week uh, regarding Superstar X Factor abilities, there were a lot of questions, you know, how does that play a factor in Madden Ultimate Team? We're going to talk a little bit about that with Jake Stein. We have some questions from the community uh, that we are also going to answer as well. So, All right, don't go anywhere. Jake Stein is coming out right now after the break. Agent K, Jake Stein, your Madden 20 Ultimate Team deep dive here for Madden 20 Developer Series. Really excited to get to it. S. Gibbs, pop us up. All right, we're back with the man, the myth, the legend, Jake Stein. I hope I said that right. I always mess these things kind of up, you know, when we do broadcasts and things like that. But uh, we have Jake Stein here. We're going to go ahead and go through a lot of things in Madden Ultimate Team. Team Jake, how have you been, man? It's been it, a while. It's been good. It has been a while. It's been arguably too long. Uh, been on the grind, man. There's been a lot going on. Super pumped to be in here tonight talking about everything coming to Madden Ultimate Team in Madden NFL 20. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, guys, so first off, Jake, I mean, we, last week we talked about superstar X-Factors, zone abilities, yep. you know, uh, superstar abilities. There's a lot of questions from the community, you know, like how is that going to go ahead and play a factor in Madden Ultimate Team? So can you give us a little bit of insight on, on how this new feature is going to play a factor in, in, uh, in Mutt? Sure. Well, before we get into it, you know, I'm sure um, not everybody tuning in tonight was able to check in Clint last week. So what are X-Factors? What are superstar abilities? So let's start with X-Factors, right? Um, this is a way, you know, this whole feature that gameplay took on this year was really, you know, a, a great attempt of bringing more authenticity sure. to the game, right? So what is something that, you know, me as a player that I'm always looking for is how do, are we able to differentiate players? Have these guys really stand out? Make the stars feel like stars. Again, something that we're hearing a lot in the building this year. Um, and I think gameplay's absolutely nailed that epic this year. So let's start with X factors. X factors are things that... Um, you have to earn in the game. It's not something that you just have with. So 
uh, the example last week was with Patrick Mahomes, our cover man. Uh, his X factor ability is he can throw it 80 yards in the air, right? He has bazooka, right? But it takes something for him to get that. That is not an every down ability for Patrick Mahomes. So that is tuned in a way where he has to meet some in-game gameplay criteria. As soon as he's met it, uh, he can throw those 80 yard bombs. There are also superstar abilities. Superstar abilities are those things that are part of that player's DNA. He has it on every single play. So again, going back to last week with Patrick Mahomes, he has the ability to uh, have escape artists, right? So he has extra locomotion when he gets outside the pocket. He sure. feels extremely different than when you're playing with Tom Brady. Um, so that's a little bit quick high level recap of as to what that feature entails. So as you mentioned, a lot of questions last week. How does that play in the ultimate team? Uh, it'd be very easy to think that, you know, in Madden Ultimate Team, you know, hey, I look, I'm creating this huge <laughs> roster. I've got 25 guys on both sides of the ball. I'm going to load all these guys up with X factors and, and superstar abilities. And, uh, you know, for a while, I'll be honest, we were kind of going down that path as well. And we, we really started to, to pull the reins back a little bit. And we kind of were asking ourselves and play testing, you know, is this still meeting the goals that gameplay wanted to do? Can stars still feel like stars in that world? Uh, and we feel like the answer is no. So while, you know, you know, given for the applicable content, uh, you will be able to still put abilities and X factors on essentially whoever you want to. Mm -hmm. But the key thing in Ultimate Team is when you're in that lineup screen, you're going to denote the three players on offense and the three players on defense that are going to take not only that X factor, but also those passive superstar abilities as well. So we feel like that's going to bring a very interesting meta. There's going to be some really unique choices that have to happen there in combinations. I think that's going to drive a lot of conversation. People are always going to be saying, no, I'm telling you, go with QB and two wide receivers or no way, man, the running game is really strong this year. I'm putting a couple on my own linemen. I'm getting my back ready to go. We're running it downhill. A uh, lot of interesting choices here. So uh, that that's a really high level as to how Madden Ultimate Team's bringing it in. You know, I think we can cut to our first screen here where, you know, we're kind of bringing this into the player upgrades uh, feature that we delivered last year. So, you know, the red chems, as a lot of the, you know, community like to call them, those are essentially gone. You know, some of those have morphed and kind of sort of like transcended into these abilities that gameplay is built for us. But those are no longer a thing for us. So now it's all about getting into these abilities. And there's a long uh, you know, sort of escalation plan and, and how are we going to let certain players have access to these things? You know, those are things that are still in flight. You know, we're super pumped to be here on what, May 15th talking about this, <laughs> but there's a long way to go between now and, and when the game launches. So just keep in mind, you know, we're super excited to be here talking about this earlier than really we ever have before. But a lot of this is really kind of, you know, to get the feel for what we're doing. You know, there's a lot of answers that we don't have yet. And that's going to come as we continue to build content and continue playtesting to make sure that we get it as right as we can once we launch the game. So again, with that said, you're coming in here. This player has earned the, you know, option to equip some of these abilities. And again, just for anybody who's not familiar with how that worked this year, you get the ability slot. You toggle over, boom. This player, if he meets specific criteria, he has access to these different abilities. Boom, equip it. So whereas the main game and, and uh, you know, how, how Clint talked about it last week when we're building out those rosters, you know, that is something that they are controlling. You know, that is a, a huge conversation with, you know, everybody from Dustin Smith to Clint to a lot of different people on the in-game sure. team. For sure. heard about the triggers and everything. Ultimate Team will be the place where you can go and actually customize those options, right? That even goes for let's go, let's let's flip it all the way back to Bazooka with the X factors. You can customize those as well. So we'll go in there, we'll sort of dictate, you know, what makes sense for which particular player, uh, and build out options for those. I'm talking a lot, but we're on a roll. No, it's great. It's great because I think one of the things that you're talking about, you know, you said it's specific type of players you kind of hinted at that yep. that's like the new thing I heard around here in the office about archetypes right and yep. archetypes is going to bring a different level to Madden Ultimate Team next year um, you know you and I've had a lot of conversations about this where it's like you know at the end of the day a lot of the people in the Madden Ultimate Team community feel like at you know the players is just a whole bunch of ratings they all play the same yep. there's a uniqueness that's coming with archetypes can you talk more about that yeah no i'm super stoked to talk about archetypes there's a couple of huge benefits that we get and it continues to feed into that authenticity and differentiating players so on one hand we'll talk about this first which is we'll go in and we'll ch we'll choose what archetype fits for each player when the game comes out 
and with that, we'll be able to say something like, again, I'm kind of making some stuff up here, but uh, well, this one makes sense. Tom Brady is a field general quarterback, right? We are going to tag him as a field general. Uh, what does that mean when it comes to us talking about X factors and abilities? That means that we've gone in and said, these are all the abilities that make sense for field generals, right? So Tom Brady's not gonna have access to escape artists. That's not a thing that he'll ever have, no matter if he's 99s across the board, he's never gonna have access to that. And we feel like that's an important decision when it comes to, I wanna get into a field general. Uh, but what that does mean is he's gonna have things like, you know, maybe perfect passing in the red zone, um, perfect passing on, on lobs or deep throws. There's a lot of different options there. And those are things that something like a scrambler will not have access to. So being able to, to have those really critical choices when it comes to building out what do you want on the field at any given time, I think is gonna be huge for us. Um, and then we talk about the other piece to that. The other, the other thing that gets us really excited is, you know, up until this point, Madden Ultimate Team has had to go in and build its own special OVR calculation for each position. For sure. So what does that mean? For positions like outside linebacker, tight end, you know, we are going and having to do our best to say, well, yep, pass rushing means something. Yep, you know, zone, obviously there's people who need, you know, need to have that also means something. You know, being able to play the run, oh, yep, that, that also needs to play into this. And, you know, you sort of get what, what we've been able to deliver up until this point. So when guys come out and you're like, well, you know, how is he meeting that rating? You know, the, the, the ratings don't justify it. Or this guy's just kind of good at everything. He's not great at everything. Archetypes allow us to take that next step. You know, let's say outside linebackers has four different archetypes. Well, that means we get to build four different formulas for those. So when we have a pass covering linebacker, that means we get to weigh things more into, you know, some of those physical stats. Obviously, things like zone coverage and man coverage come into play, right? But if you have our run stuffer, right, okay, now we get to value and weigh things more on strength, tackle, yeah, hit awesome. power, things like that. It's going to, I think, provide very unique and interesting choices uh, when, when a player comes out, I think it's going to be much more of a conversation than it has been in the past. And a lot of choices for the players on, you know, again, what do you want out of that 53? Yeah, no, I think it's awesome because I think one of the things we hear a lot of times within the community is, you know, ratings. They, they, there's just, how do they work? How do the OVR calcs work? And I think there's a lot more differentiation going to be happening now as we go into Madden 20. So that's great stuff to hear. Uh, so we saw that screenshot. It looks like power-ups are back uh, mm -hmm. going into Madden 20. Um, and uh, one of the things, let's talk about one of the new features kind of Madden Ultimate Team, it's called Missions. Okay. Um, and, you know, it's, uh, talk a little bit about that with me right now. Like, what is it, you know, why are we doing it and whatnot? Yeah, so Missions was, you know, a, a really big deal for us on the live content team. You know, we make so much content and, you know, when we take a look and look for feedback or take a look at some of our in-game, you know, data, the thing, you know, some of that information that we're getting back, we sometimes question ourselves, are, are we teaching this well enough? Are people finding the content that sure. we're creating yeah. on, a, on, a, on, a, on a given day? So missions really kind of is that opportunity for us to take you know, this open world of Ultimate Team, which can go deep and get very complicated very quickly and focus it up and bring you into almost these quests, right? So again, Gibbs has pulled up uh, some screens. We're gonna roll through some. Again, I wanna reiterate, keep in mind, this is definitely test content. This is something that is kind of proving out what the feature can do. This is not something that you're gonna see on day one. For sure. So with that in mind, missions is now the place where you are landing on when you come into Madden Ultimate Team. It's a big deal. We want you to know what's going on and what's the, you know, what's the easiest way to get into that and understand what that content is. So with strength training here, we're taking a look at that. This is what we're calling, this is the campaign level is what we're calling it internally. So here are now your actual two missions under that campaign, which are essentially saying, hey, do you wanna work on improving your offense or do you wanna work on improving your defense? Cool, sweet, I'm gonna go check out my offense. The step one here, again, a very basic, a very simple way of communicating this is saying, hey, we're going to earn stars in these particular challenges. Now, ultimate challenges are something that we're going to get into in just a second. But for here, you know, this could be a, a multitude of stats. You know, people I'm sure watching the stream are very familiar when we come out with something like zero chill and it's like, well, cool, we're going to take you into, uh, you're, you got this, you know, pack when you launch the game. Now you need to pick one of them. Now you need to go put them in your lineup. Now you need to go play these challenges. Now you need to go put those guys in the set. There's all these things that we ask you to do. Missions are a thing that we can take you and step by step 
direct you and get you where you need to go. That's awesome. Now the next part of this are what we call the actions. So this is a place where, again, if you're one of those veteran users, uh, you know, how am I going to find, you know, uh, success with with missions, or what what's the benefit for me with using missions? Well, it's going to be kind of like your quick hotspot to go anywhere in the game. So this is your actions tile. This is telling you that I can go into a particular ultimate challenge, and we take you directly to the challenge. Uh, another example here are specific sets, where we can take you to, again, very, very specific sets, not just the sets category, and then you figure it out from there. Um, or solo battles, or not pictured in here, something like the auction house, where we can take you and pre-filter what you're looking for in the auction house, and even give you a little bit of information about what the median price is, so you kind of have a good understanding before ever hitting the auction house, is this guy that, you know, what I'm seeing is this roughly what everybody else yeah. is getting them at. R repeat that again. There's a median, again, not pictured <laughs> here. Uh, one of the things when, with test content is the auction house doesn't exactly look like it does on production. So um, when you come in here, if there's a spot for the auction house, it will tell you what the median price is for a specific item That's that, pretty that cool. we have you looking for. So for this one, we're, we're taking you to the challenges. Here's your couple different categories of here. Uh, Master of the Sticks. There's a couple things going on, on the screen here, but I want to go one step further before we talk about that. So here you can take a look at the sequences, but we start off and we show you the milestones. Uh, and I, and, I, and I'm gonna, I guess now's the perfect time to get into stars. So now with ultimate challenges, there's this star rating. It's not just the simple pass or fail. There is a skill to it, and there could be multiple stars that you can go do. And rather than saying, hey, we're going to put the best reward at the very last challenge, it's going to be more about, well, how many stars have you accumulated through this whole thing? And milestones, if we want to go ahead and push ahead here, is that first example where we get to show you this many stars is going to earn you this reward. That's so, awesome. So some really cool stuff here. It gives us the opportunity to, again, sort of expand that out. I'll talk a little bit more here at the end as to, again, why we're going more with the star rating versus, hey, like I'll just play the last game. Why, why would you change that? There's a very good answer to that that we'll get into in just a second here. Um, so we can push past this. And now we find ourselves at the game screen. Uh, and you can see here that Gone with the Wind is, is, is a total of five stars here. There's 15 stars uh, possible in this particular go long sequence. So I'll dive into here, Gone with the Wind. and. Here's where your first big choice comes into. Okay. You have your easy, and then you'll see that we, as we toggle over, that there are easy, medium, hards for this. With easy, you can see here that, sorry, Gibbs, I messed you up on that one. On the easy, you can see it's on rookie, right? The requirements for things like throwing for 10 yards on this drive, or you can see the bonus goals for throwing 10 yards on the first play and throwing for 30 yards on this drive. Uh, some, some additional things to get you stars. If you were to go in right now on easy, and nail your primary goal and the two bonus goals, you'd walk away with three stars. But if you're looking to max this one out, play it on five stars, you're gonna bump it up to medium, you're gonna bump it up to hard. You can, and you can go from hard right away. It's, there's no like, I have to do this one at a time. If you wanna come in here and you feel like you're ready to go, you can go straight to hard, which is going for this particular uh, example, is just going to move that uh, challenge into all pro. Now, when we update uh, the easy, medium, hard, there's more than just difficulty that we can touch, right? Difficulty being one, we could change the game style. We could change where you start on the field. We can change the time. We can change, maybe we make it a stronger CPU team that you're playing against on hard. Um, there, there's some really cool things that we can do to sort of, you know, maybe test for skill in ultimate challenges. Whereas before, you know, I'd really would, you know, recommend the team that, hey, solo challenges were really about you know, just get your time investment in. Yeah. <laughs> just come in here, grind them out, get your time in. But let's, be, you know, outside of something like Gauntlet, let's not really test for skill. That's not what those are meant for. I think Ultimate Challenges lets us lean a little bit more over to, you know, testing for skill. You for get sure. you get some yeah. more opportunities there. Um, and what's great for us is, you know, how we're thinking about it internally is, you know, let's say, you know, a normal, a normal sequence now, you know, we'll say, hey, at the end of this one, we're going to get you a 95 overall, whatever. Mm -hmm. 
for this new world that we're about to live in, it's not gonna be about, well, now max out all 50 out of 50 stars in order to get that item. It might still be like, get 30 of the 50 stars. That gives us extra room at the end to play with, to give you additional content. You can get maybe some additional currency, some additional packs. It won't be things that, you know, sort of exclude you from progressing anywhere, but it's an opportunity to earn additional rewards. So we feel like this route is going to make things more replayable. Uh, one thing that I did not touch on is that you know you can play these out of order now mm -hmm. you know in, in a lot of cases we can we still have the ability to lock them and you know sort of progress as you go but again knowing that you know hey this i'm not ready for this particular challenge yet let me move on to the next one you still have that option right and then what did gibbs pull up here the reason why we are not calling them solos anymore and why we are saying solos are dead is you now have the option for most of the content we can still again we'll have some play here it won't be i'm not going to say it's a hundred percent but for most of the content, you're gonna have the option to see your buddy online, tag them, invite them, bring them into a lobby. Now, these are no longer solo challenges. We're in ultimate challenges now. That's awesome. So you're basically now um, just giving people the opportunity to kind of play these together. I know, you know, solo grinding, it's, you know, you're sitting there, you're at home, you're Netflixing and chilling and just yep. kind of playing these things. Now you can actually play them together, kind of work on them together. It's a more social experience, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So, so you, say, you said solo challenges are like gone. Right now, you know, with ultimate challenges, what does that necessarily bring? You said replayability was one of the things, which was pretty awesome. Um, you know, and you also said that there's no more pass fail conditions, uh, which is something I want to highlight. I don't know if you guys out there uh, play Gauntlet, you know, in some of those really difficult, challenging situations. Those are situations that one, I wanted some friends out to play with. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, or two, you know, I wanted to be able to go ahead and just go back and replay it and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So can you highlight what other upgrades are coming to Ultimate Challenges? Yeah, one thing that we definitely uh, could have touched on was with the bonus conditions. You know, if you're somebody, uh, you know, kind of a veteran to Ultimate Team, and I'm sure plenty of you are tuning in tonight, and thank you so much for doing so, is when you went and tried to engage with a challenge and wanted to get that bonus condition, you had to do it that time. Yeah. As soon as you played it, and, uh, and passed it and then backed out. And if you hadn't completed it, there was no way for you to go back and ever get that bonus condition again. Uh, that has been updated, that has changed now. Cool. So we have the ability for you to, again, if you wanna play it on one star, get the, you know, get the bonus goals, whether you do or don't, you still have the option to go back in on it, uh, on, on even a, a higher difficulty and then go back and get those bonus conditions. Some other things that we have, um, some additional end conditions. Uh, so one of the ones that really sticks out in my mind that I think is going to be a difference maker is you know something like ball carrier moves. So imagine a bonus goal. You know the the main goal might be rush for 40 yards, and the bonus goal could say, well, yeah, do that on one play and make sure that you have three ball carrier moves wh cool. while doing it, or even potentially even harder, zero ball carrier moves. So now you're looking at again additional ways for us to sort of, you know. Spice it up a little bit, get you a little, get you into something a little bit different. So we're super pumped about that. That's awesome. Uh, so if a person that you know, for someone who grinds solos, what's going to change right there? Because uh, you know, again, we're moving away from solo challenges to ultimate challenges. Just to kind of recap, what are some of the things that are going to change for those individuals that are just grinders? Well, you don't have to do it by yourself anymore. You know, just you just you know. Playing Madden uh, with friends is, is is a better experience, and and we and we truly feel that we we've you know been building out squads here for a couple years, you know bringing solos into you know the same back end tech stack as our online modes gave us a lot of it was sort of like the full completion right it was essentially our version of Endgame it yeah. wasn't quite 22 chapters, <laughs> but we were able to sort of complete that technical story for us and. Uh, bringing that all together allows us to do something like build squads, which is its own very unique thing that lives outside of it. And you know what? Now that we've built our former solo challenges in the same back end, sweet. With very minimal work, we get to bring that same feature over into challenges as well. So uh, I think that's going to be a big deal. I think people are going to really enjoy that. It's not you know, make Madden a little less lonely, yeah. right? And I think that this type of feature really speaks to that. Uh, and I'm excited to hear all the different stories that people have, right? We, we dipped our toe in the water this year with squad challenges. They were, you know, for the most part, very sort of, uh, you know, solo experiences, very just like that was it. There wasn't necessarily a ton of depth there. Uh, now, whenever there's new challenge content out there, again, for a majority of it, you're going to be able to do that with your friends. So I think that that's going to be a big difference maker. Plus with the stars, with the replayability, that, that extra, 
you know, uh, hint of challenging, you know, being a little bit tougher than what they're used to. It's not just Netflix, chill, you know, just kind of like, okay, I'm just grinding through these, getting through them. Nope. You're going to have to kind of lock in a little bit more this year, especially if you're looking to max out all those stars. Cool. I, I really do like the element of a social experience. You know, I think a lot of players at the end of the day definitely want to go ahead and play with uh -oh. their friends uh -oh. and get involved. So, uh, yeah, it Look looks like it, lo it, it looks like uh, Look stage him might have just popped up a screenshot right here. I think it was um, good. Yeah. I think it was good. We were so, almost going to forget yeah. about this. So one how the, could we? Yeah, so one of the things that, you know, I think a lot of our players find very frustrating, right? It's like, you know, you play a solo, you got to go ahead and exit, go back to the main menu. And something we've been asking for for quite a while. Um, I see a screenshot right here. It says, you know, play next challenge. Walk me through this. What, what were some of the challenges to bring this to fruition? Uh, it sounds like ultimate challenges and everything in this new tech allows us to do this. Um, what's, what's up with this? Yeah, so how did we get here? Um, you know, really, you got to thank the community first and foremost. For sure. You know, this is one of the things that we've been hearing about for a while and uh, has been, you know, a no pun intended, a challenge for us to get to. Um, but how did we get to this specific screen? Okay, for this, for the players here, uh, you've just completed your challenge. For this particular one, you could only have earned the one star. What does this allow you to do? We pop this up right away now. Immediately let you just choose play next challenge. And when you select this button, I don't think we have a screenshot for this, but it takes you essentially back to that same screen where you are um, toggling with what stars you want to do. It, it automatically populates what the next one is. You get to choose what difficulty you want it on. You hit the button and you there is still a load. I, I want to make this clear. There is still a load to get into the next one. It's not this instant thing that happens. However, it takes out a lot of, you know, the button clicks, a lot of a lot of going you know, back, the, going yeah, forth, yeah. there was there was a lot of extra nonsense there that, you know, quite frankly you've just had to deal with. And this allows you to get, you know, have these be so much more accessible and easier to get into. It's going to be easier to just like, yeah, I'll go get that next one. Yeah, because you sure. just want to move on. You just want to kind of get into it, get it done, get those rewards, keep going, keep playing, all that kind of great stuff. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. So thank you, Gibbs, for pulling that one up. That one uh, is a big one, one that, uh, you know, quite frankly, especially with that screen, just came in uh, maybe last week. So yeah. uh, again, it's that's why it's just so cool and exciting to get to talk to you guys like as these things are coming in real time. Yeah, no, really appreciate it. I, I think a lot of times what, you know, from a community perspective, you guys give a lot of great feedback and, you know, the teams are taking that feedback in, uh, the MUT development team specifically, and they're trying to figure out ways to go ahead and make these things a reality. You know, and some of it is really dependent on the tech that we have sure. available to us, you know, and it's kind of hard to go ahead and do that May mid-season, but it's definitely on their radars to go ahead and get resolved for you guys. Now, um, let's talk about house rules, man. Uh, you know, house rules was a new thing. We saw that out there. It said beta on there. Yeah. And there's that beta tag. Uh, there's a reason why it says beta, and you and I have had some conversations. Like, mm. you know, what was the, the idea behind bringing house rules to Madden Ultimate Team? And when we have it in beta, what are we trying to solve for? What are we looking into? Well, beta is really, you know, sort of that opportunity for us to, to test something out. Mm. You know, it's a little, obviously, a little bit about what, what beta means when it comes to a video game. Um, to go back and to, to that stream when we got to really introduce what house rules were, and I'll, I'll kind of give a quick recap of that. Um, you know, it was our opportunity to sort of get with the gameplay team and say, you know, what else can we do here? You know, we think that there's an opportunity to make Madden more replayable, and we feel like house rules would be a great way to do that. Um, so again, for those that maybe are, are, aren't familiar, house rules were our ability to go in there and say, all right, for this particular game, all passing touchdowns are gonna be worth 12 points. You know, we're going to double passing touchdowns or we're going to have, you know, uh, one of the events that we had this year was called half off. So it was first and five and you only got two downs to achieve that yeah. first down. So something that was really going to sort of shake up the meta, change the way that, you know, kind of get you out of that rut of this is just another game of Madden. Uh, and the results and the engagement that that mode saw were just fantastic. And I can't thank everybody enough. That was just amazing. So, of course, we're bringing that back. I don't think you're going to see it on day one. There's going to be a lot to do on day one when Madden 20 drops. But it's something that you're going to see, you know, much earlier in the calendar this year. Uh, probably some additional rules, stuff that we can't maybe quite get into yet. But <laughs> going all the way back to, you know, why did we want to chase something like Ultimate Challenges? And why did, you know, I talked, I hinted a little bit about, like, bringing that into that online tech stack. Well, that meant that there were some things that, 
the offline, the, the old solo challenges mode was going to get as an enhancement. Well, vice versa, there was also some things that the online modes were going to take uh, and get as enhancements. And one of those things, and maybe the biggest one, is we can now have start and end conditions in online games. So Very what cool. does that mean, and how does that translate into something like house rules? Well, for next year, I could have a, an event that says, well, we're going to have college overtime, and we're going to just start you already in overtime. You're just going to go right there. You're not having to play through the four quarters in, in order to get to that spot. We're just going to drop you right in there. And that's going to just be this crazy, unique experience. We could also do some things, and we've talked about this internally, and we're still trying to figure out and flush out what, what sort of bugs that we're getting to. But like, we could also have one that says, all right, the first person that scores a passing touchdown in this game is going to win, right? And just drop you right in there. So I think it's going to continue to feed a couple things. One, change up the way that you're playing Madden. Keep that meta shaken up. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's going to make Madden more replayable. And then also another goal that I've always really loved, is, especially when it comes to online games, is having shorter experiences. You know, everything doesn't need to be a 40 minute investment. You know, there's opportunities for you to get in there and still have a lot of fun and not everybody can really have that same sort of investment. So being able to go in there and do things like that, um, I think are gonna be big. And so that's one of those where you're so excited that you're getting it for 20, and you're like, uh, we just missed it for 19. <laughs> but man, it's coming, it's coming soon. I think everybody's gonna love it. That's awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit right now about some of the community questions we got last week. Okay. Uh, we got some questions from the community. Uh, one that I see a lot in my timeline, and I don't know if uh, Gibbs, if we, if we have that asset or that screenshot that we can go and throw up while we're talking about stuff, uh, but I'll just read it off my sheet right over here. And uh, so the Mutt Master completion token, right? So there's, a, there's been a lot of chatter on social media uh, where people are asking, is it gonna be worth anything this year? Is it gonna be worth anything next year? Uh, I don't know if you have any kind of, if you can answer that question. Yeah, so it's something that we definitely haven't forgotten about. And being able to grind and do everything that it takes to earn that uh, is a big deal. So we want to make sure that the reward that we have for that type of engagement uh, and success in Ultimate Team really pays off. Um, so it's not something that I can get into tonight. There are some things that uh, you know. I guess you're just going to have to kind of trust us on a little bit here. It's going to be worth it. Could it be a 19? Could it be a 20 thing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this cryptic messaging, Jake. I know. Um, I'm sorry. No, n all good. All good. I appreciate though. So thanks for addressing it. Um, it it's definitely something the team looked at. And guys, I appreciate all the feedback that you guys provide us. Uh, we definitely get that over to the MUD development team so they can go ahead and take a look at that stuff. Uh, one other question we got from last stream is, can you give players an edge distinction so they can play outside linebacker or D end without losing any chems? You know, so this is something a lot of people have been asking yeah. for. Uh, kind of what you know, what, what's the plans for that? So there's nothing really to announce here at this time. It, it is absolutely something that we've talked about internally. You know, there are absolutely guys in the NFL, I've, I've, I've talked about it a couple times tonight, is what are things that we can do to separate players? Mm -hmm. They're part of like what it takes to be a superstar or why somebody is a superstar is because, you know, they are mismatches. They are, they are unique players on the field. You know, so somebody like Travis Kelsey has absolutely earned the right to not only be called a tight end, but they split him out all the time because yeah. he's a flex tight end. You know, this guy can can move all around. He's a joker piece for the Chiefs. So it makes all the sense in the world to have this guy, you know, be inserted into the wide receiver spot and not really take it much of a penalty. Uh, so it's something that we believe in. It's something that we know we want to get to. You know, there's some things that kind of prevent me from going any further with this answer. Sure. But it is something that we've absolutely talked about. Cool. Um, so one question that we've gotten a lot as well is, you know, will every team have at least one player with an X Factor ability? And how is that going to work in Madden Ultimate Team? Yeah. So that particular question to me feels more of like a main Madden question. Uh, will every team uh, have something like that? Uh, I would really probably defer that to Clint. I don't know if everybody's going to have an X Factor, but I think everybody, every team will be represented on some curve For of sure. superstar abilities, X Factors plus superstars only X factors. I'm sure there's going to be a mix of everything when it comes to the 32. Now, when it comes to ultimate team, obviously a little bit of a different ball game. Uh, we haven't talked about this yet. It's not something that we're going to get into tonight, but like, what does the launch content look like? What are we planning on? Um, is it something where, you know, a lot of people are going to have access to those abilities right away? Um, is it only going to be for really the top end and those same sort of leak guys? We, we don't have answers for that. I, and, I, and, and honestly, I, where I think we're going to land on is somewhere balanced in the middle. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that there's an opportunity for us to 
um, have some of the you know lower OVR guys have access to some of the you know lower end of the abilities in terms of the, the power scale. For sure. um, and then again, part of differentiating and being authentic, those superstar players will have access to more things. Cool. I'm at a phone call this weekend. I was talking to someone, and they were talking about you know LTDs. You know, are they going to quick sell for 500k? You know, next year. I know that's kind of been like a hot topic in the community, and yeah. just kind of wanted to ask you about it. Again, one of those things where we're definitely talking about it. Um, definitely a conversation topic for this year, and I would think that there were both pros and cons. We always hear a lot more about the cons, but I do think <laughs> that there were some pros in there. One of the things that we have to always be careful with when it comes to live content is overcorrecting. There are definitely things that uh, pop up and we address, and then you start to hear from the other side, right? You kind of, it's like the, the, the squeaky wheel is the one that gets, gets sure. the grease a little bit. So uh, it's something that we're definitely talking about. Um, you know, thankfully, that's not just the me decision. You know, mm -hmm. I have an awesome team behind me where we all get to chime in and we're all invested in this thing together. So we're gonna come together and figure out, okay, if it's not that, how can we still accomplish a lot of the same goals without having that, you know, central floor on the auction house? So it's something that, you know, nothing to announce tonight. You know, as maybe if we have another opportunity to get together and talk uh, as we get closer to launch, maybe we'll have some, some more concrete answers at that point. Awesome. Well, guys, just to give you a heads up. Before the survey, yes. you guys do one minute on missions, like the, like the 30,000 foot view on missions, just to make it super clear. There you I, go. This is, I feel like this is the one that's going to be on Instagram, and like I can't mess this take up. Um, <laughs> so missions, missions are going to be the way that you know you, we take this open world of Ultimate Team and really condense it down and focus it into very specific quests. So it's your way of understanding what is some of the brand new content that we just released. How do I get into that? And it's also a great avenue to take you directly to where you need to go. We can take you directly to a specific challenge. We can take you to a very specific set. We could take you to a place in the store if we know for sure that that particular pack gets you progress onto the thing that you're looking for. So it's really this kind of hot spot that takes you anywhere you know in the game, and it's your quick. You know, again, I'll I'll go with another end game. It, these are your portals, right? You know, <laughs> on your left, Cap. That's what these are. That's awesome. How'd I do? <laughs> Boom. That's awesome. Well, Jake, um, you know, thank you so much. Really appreciate you yeah. coming on, guys. Just a heads up, uh, go ahead and make sure, uh, if you're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put out some information about uh, the Deep Dive blog uh, through the main channels. Make sure to go ahead and tag, uh, hashtag Madden20, also hashtag Mutt20. Give us those questions. We're gonna be answering a lot of those on the Gridiron Notes tomorrow. So one of the things that we're trying to do at the end of the- at, Gibbs end is the already stream, trying to chase me down at breakfast. I know, so one of the things we talked about is like we'll get in here at the office around like eight o'clock, 8.30, we'll, Try to get get in touch with Jake and say, hey, these are all the questions that we saw from the community. Is there anything we can answer in the gridiron notes um, and get those answers out there for our community members? So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, Jake, again, it's always a pleasure. Really appreciate you coming out, man. Thank and you. I'm sure uh, we'll be doing more of these on Madden Daily Drops. We're going to bring out Man of the People, Z Farls, here in a moment. So stay tuned. A lot of great stuff there, man, of the people, Z Farls. Um, you know what? Come on, man, break it down for me. Give me the mad minute of everything that we've been discussing so far. Yeah, so what's up, everybody? Z Farls here with the Madden Minute. If you're just tuning in, you missed a great Madden Ultimate Team stream, but don't worry, we got the recap for you right here. We started off by talking about how Superstar X Factors will change the game in Madden Ultimate Team. And then, of course, we talked about the new archetypes, which I think are going to make budget players awesome again. You've got new power-ups, info on that. We also broke down the new ultimate challenges with the star system, and mm -hmm. then we talked about how missions are gonna make your ultimate team experience even easier. Uh, what went live during the show was a deep dive blog written by Jake himself to give you all the info, and then of course, 
Gridiron Notes, our weekly series, will break down your questions that you have. That's the Madden Minute. Yeah, you did pretty good, man. Hey, you did pretty good. Try to get it out did there. Did you rehearse that? I mean, seriously. You know, I made it up as I went. <laughs> but right now, I want to make up something called the Kahuna. It's a giveaway, and Crazy. it's going to be exciting. We've been promising people big-time giveaways for a long time. For sure. We're actually going to go back to the Twitch way to do this. You've got drops for watching. You're also going to earn potentially giveaways in the chat. And then I will also let you know how you can earn uh, more giveaways. You tell them about the survey. Survey. I'm going to then uh, read out the kahuna. We're going to yeah. roll it. So, guys, uh, really appreciate it. Every single stream that we've done, you guys have chimed in. We put out a survey. It's going to be inside the chat right now. Make sure to go ahead and respond to that. Some great questions there. Uh, let's us know uh, exactly what you liked about the stream, kind of how we're communicating things, and then also things that you guys want to learn regarding Madden Ultimate Team. So we'll make sure to go ahead and review that. Um, it's a cert like Last week, it was great. We had so many questions. One of the things that I noticed you know, when I went through all the surveys, I think we had close to like 500 people responding to this, uh, was th the number one thing from you guys was we we love hearing from the developers. Yes. You know, so, you know, not so much us, but it's all good, you know, but so they love hearing from the developers. The other big thing is if we are able to get 1,000 surveys tonight, responses, S. Gibbs has promised to shave his head, okay? <laughs> the amount of survey responses we get is very important to S. Gibbs. He will shave his head yeah. if we're able to get 1,000 responses. Right now, we're is dropping that, it in the chat. It's fast. The chat's moving fast. People are excited. They're chatting. Is this really chatting. a thing? Is this really yeah, a thing? Yeah, they're chanting MDD. Crazy. They're Reminder, though, uh, <laughs> with, with their, the, one of the first questions on there, that's going to be reinforced. You'll be able to get to ah. see that at the A+. Yes. Oh, great. Another large thing about these streams, we know that we're showing you screenshots. We know there's no gameplay yet. We completely understand. Our goal right now during these community live streams is to tell you about the features. And then, of course, at EA Play, you will get to see them. You can also come to EA Play in Los Angeles, sign up, uh, it's free. You can come out and actually play Madden 20. So you might wanna do that if you're local, not local, but either way, we'll have another live stream there. We actually get to see all the gameplay things you've done. The survey has a couple options. Tell them a little bit about that, and then we'll get to the kahuna. Yeah, I mean, the survey is great. You know, so just make sure to go in and take a look at that. I'll be honest with you. I mean, you probably know more than I do because I was running up here from another meeting. I did not get to see about what, like, those, those options were. But regarding the survey, I do know there's tons of questions. Like, you know, what do you like about the stream? What do you want to see more about and all that kind of stuff? But, yeah. Player archetypes, which one do you want to learn more about? We've got a bunch of positions. We talked about the quarterback position, potentially scrambler. Uh, <laughs> you can select a position type to learn more about the archetypes at EA Play. So we're excited to show you about that. Let's get to the kahuna funny man. Stop talking. That's what they tell me in the chat all yeah. the time. They tell me three things. Number one, Jair Alexander power up. That's what I see constantly. Number two, Deion Jones, please. Yes. Deion Jones, please. Oh, number trust two. Me. Number two. Number <laughs> three, stop talking, Farles. Get to the giveaways. I'm going to do that right now. Here we go. Uh, We're going to do all eight positional heroes that have come out so far. That includes guys like Jalen Ramsey, Zach Ertz, Jamal Adams, uh, Levante David from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Shout out to Jake Stein for coming out here tonight. We'll also throw in an LTD Gronk. And then, of course, you have your loyalty rewards that you folks are grinding right now. I've got this written down. Don't worry. I've, I've got it. You're going to have to roll it, but I've got it. Aaron Rodgers. Kyle Fuller, two awesome loyalty folks that people are going after right now. If you're at level 99, you've probably mm -hmm. already earned one. And then lastly, because we don't have a halfback, Terrell Davis as your, as your UL. That's all I can do. We're in the hallway. Somebody will come out and stop me. So we're going to roll it. We're going to do three kahunas, and then we're going to give you one bonus kahuna. All you have to do, go to Twitter, at jstein2469. Send him a positive message about his stream performance tonight. Thank him for taking time out of his night to give us the information. Diving deep, giving you all the context. We're rolling. Oh, we're rolling right now. Okay. But you can also head over to Stein2469, tweet him a positive message about his performance tonight. Rohit0720. Rohit0720. Winner. Rohit. Winner, cool. winner. Rohit, first winner here, riding the wave on the kahuna. Just picked himself up a Gronk Rodgers. We do this every day. We'll do this tomorrow as well uh, before we get into Gridiron Notes. I know you guys do it every day. We do it every it's day. It's awesome. We do it every day, except Sundays. Also, after tonight's show, you can head on over and check out the Mutthead stream on Thursday and Friday Night Football. They'll have drops. Uh, tomorrow they'll reveal the Ultimate Legends at 8 o'clock, so it's huge as hey, well. Rohit responded fast. Rohit responded Jeez. fast. Give him a bonus. I would say Kyle Fuller. Already gave him a Kyle Fuller. Give he him did? a bonus. Rod Woodson. How about that? Crazy. Jake Stan, what do you got for me? I don't know. You're kind of nervous. 
It's all right. I've I have Butt I've uh, I've done this before. What are we doing? Butt roll it. All right, we're gonna host Mudhead in a minute here. We gotta roll two more. We're gonna get over and give Twitter <laughs> some J Stein positive messages. Steve zero one nine seven. That's very interesting that the the guy rolling the giveaway's name is Steve and the winner is Steve zero one nine seven. I find that interesting. I don't know. A thousand survey questions. Put the link in the chat. S Gibb shaves his head. There you go. We got one more, right? One more to go, and then, and then we then go we're gonna over go to Mudhead. Yeah, and what's great is that we got Zan over there tonight, yeah. and also Mutt Guru. They're gonna be Love doing it. the stream, so make sure to turn, uh, tune in to Thursday Night Football. I even heard that they're gonna be doing, uh, they're gonna be doing giveaways. They're also gonna be doing a Kahuna um, today and tomorrow. So I went ahead and talked with Rockets over at Mudhead. They're gonna be doing that. So definitely show that sp support uh, for those players that are playing Madden Ultimate Team right now. Yeah, great this stuff. this week it's actually like an amateur. On Thursday night it's actually like amateur. For sure, it's like busting in and trying to show you what they can do. And then Friday, I believe the pros are coming back. Yep. Maybe Cleft the God. It's great. I mean, it's, it's great to hear Zan out there. It's great to hear Guru out there, Absolutely. you know, kind of doing his thing. So uh, good stuff, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, hey, do, do we get the final winner here so we can go ahead and, like, cast it over to... DC Wag 37. DC Wag 37. DC Wag 37. Yeah. DC Wag 37. All right. That is our third Kahuna winner. Remember, positive message to Jake Stein enters you for a chance uh, to earn another Kahuna giveaway. They had pizza here tonight. They make all these guys stay Jake. late, and they love it. Yeah. Jake I want some pizza, though. Jake loves pizza. The guy can eat a whole pie. You have not seen this. This guy is a pizza machine. Favorite type of pizza? You, you know this. He hates pizza. <laughs> I'm, I'm still playing. I'm, I'm, I'm playing. I'm he hates playing. pizza. Pepperoni. <laughs> awesome. Pepperoni. That's the number one seed for a one-topping pie. We're heading over to my head. <laughs> three. In three, two, two one. one. See you later. But remember, we're still live right now because for the folks that are staying here, that's what we got going on. Thank you very much to Jake Stein. Thank you very much for all the folks in this hallway whose area we pretty to, much take yeah, over they get to hear us. weekly. Yeah. It's almost over, yeah. I promise. Much love. Two more to go. Two more weeks. Only